Hello kiddos, I'm Rachel. I'm on another quest today and I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today you've been learning about how much God loves you and now it's time to try it out. The story about Adam and Eve got me thinking about how much God loves us. I know God loves me, but what happens if I do something I know is wrong? I have the key to our treasure chest, but it has a question for us. Can you help me answer the question, kiddos? Molly is feeling sad and grumpy today. She was mean to her brother and just feels mad. Can she talk to God about how she feels? What do you think, kiddos? Can Molly talk to God when she feels sad and grumpy? Yes, God cares about Molly and loves her no matter how she is feeling. Now we just need to find the treasure chest. Where could it be? Do you see it, kiddos? This must be it. There's a card attached to it. Let's see what it says. Ryan didn't listen when his grown-ups told him to clean up, and now he is in timeout. Ryan knows he did something wrong. Does God still love Ryan just as much? What do you think, kiddos? Does God love Ryan even after Ryan did something he knew was wrong? Yes, God loves Ryan no matter what. God wants Ryan to make wise choices, but God will always love him even when he's made a wrong choice. We found the treasure chest, now let's open it. There's a heart in here and a poem. Let's read it. You found a great treasure, but not in this chest. What you know now is that God is the best. Wherever you are and whatever you do, you can know that God always loves you. That is so true, kiddos. This heart reminds me that God loves you no matter what. That's the greatest treasure we can ever have. Thanks for joining me on my quest, kiddos. I hope to see you again next week.